Right now this is going to be another short video because importing data in easy CSV importer is very quick even if you've got a lot of data all we're doing at this point is importing the data to a new database table that is the database table created when you create a project I won't go into too much detail about that because we are all about making this easy uh, however we do like to I really like to mention that there are other abilities and there is functionality in Easy CSV Importer that allows us to take things further than most importers, possibly all importers, because none take the data import as far as, as we do and it needs to be taken that far in order to, to, to be professional and give users full control over their blocking, not just let WordPress control all the data. Now, the, the first thing I'm going to do is just go through the create project steps for anyone who hasn't done that yet. So I'm selecting a CSV file in the data sources tab. I'm uploading that. Then I go to create project. Scroll down, find the file that I just uploaded. Make sure these details are correct, otherwise we are going to have problems. So in my in my case, everything's fine. Click create project. And in that instance, right there, a new database table was created. And if we go to PHP My Admin and hit refresh, even though I think the table's already there, uh, I, I forgot to delete it, but it's no big deal. The the table was there, WTG Test B, along with various various other tables from my testing. And if I just click, you can see that database table holds some special columns named ECSVI and followed by the purpose, the name of the purpose and if I go further down these columns here are the same names in the CSV file itself and this is why we can import any CSV file in Easy CSV Importer and the, the table will be created for that CSV file data is imported to this table and I'm going to do that right now now we have this, this is quite a big panel for something that's quite short. I'm just skipping these things, the custom tokens and the purpose, edit your data. These are more advanced abilities than what you might expect in an easy importer, but the fact is we don't have to use them. So it's still easy. Just skip them and click import data. And there you go. Easy. All my data has been imported, and from this point onwards, I could go to basic settings, configure the title template, content template, and then go to create posts and create some some posts. That would take me less than a minute to do. It would take most people less than a minute. All you have to do is copy copy and paste these tokens into to your editor and so on. Obviously, if you wanted to do advanced settings and so on, it's going to take a little longer. But my point is it's still quick, everything's quick even though we're importing data to the database table. Now importing data to that table allows us to if I just go back, it allows us to not only break the import down without worrying about the posts that are being created while we're doing it, but we can we can we can break that import down, import the data and then we can work on the data in the database table using other tools, we can maybe, if you know PHP, write your own scripts to do things or run SQL um, queries in here to, to change your data and prepare it before you use it. Um, those of you who don't know this sort of this side of things, well, you're basically at a point where you're, you're ready to go on and configure your project because I've already, I've already shown you how to import the data, you can go ahead and do that and then that is it, keep it easy. Those of you who are technically minded or willing to learn a little bit more, this is where you want to be going into your host and control panel, find your PHP My Admin, uh, you may have an icon in there, MySQL or databases or so on, and click on that and find your database and you should find PHP My, My Admin quite easy uh, and there's no harm having a little look around. Um, and that's it. There's a, there's a lot to the the, ta the tables, um, the the functionality we provide using these columns um, is quite cool. 
Uh, one, well, the main one is updating, being able to update your data, but doing it in an efficient, controlled way where everything is monitored and we don't just take data from a CSV file and slap it in WordPress, WordPress posts instantly make it public and so on. We, we, we like to have a little more control over it than that, uh, but we do so well making it, still making it easy. And that's it. So don't be don't be don't be too put off by the fact that I'm mentioning the technical side of things. Go ahead and do what I just done. You you've got your your project. Just scroll down and click this import button, and that is it. Go ahead and create your posts. All right. Thank you very much for watching.